Talking with the Audubon boys at Shuttle Hurdle down here after the finals at uh, the state track meet in Des Moines here in Class 1A. And guys, a fantastic run today. We'll start off with you, Jake. Looked like you got out of the blocks extremely well. Yeah, I, I felt good counting the blocks. I felt like that was my best start. I mean, I have nothing to complain. I came out good and hard, came out low. And I just felt like I went over those hurdles good. And Talk about the rest of the race. Was it smooth all the way through? I hit my trail leg on one or two, but other than that, I regrouped really well. I think I had. I think I felt like I had a personal best on the split for me. I felt like I was going gliding over pretty well, not hopping or anything. I felt like it was going pretty good for me. What do you contribute today to? Well, I think just our group of boys just is a good special group because we got two three steppers and two four steppers. So I mean, just you can switch it up in the order because I mean, if you're going into win or not, we can always switch it up, and it's always good. I mean, it's always good to have three steppers all around, but sometimes these four steppers can come in handy. Jake, uh, fifth place finish. What's that mean for you guys? I have nothing to complain about. I we came in here, what we seeded. I think I did. I think we exceeded our expectations for the year. We did our personal PR. I don't think I'd want to do it with any other group of three guys because we had a great season. I felt like all year we just kept getting better and better. I wouldn't ask to come down here with any other three guys. Well, Jake, appreciate it. Congratulations. Great job today. Thank you. Absolutely. Let's move over now to Colby Rattenberg. It looked like he was shot out of a rocket today uh, in his uh, part of this, the second leg. How did you feel today? felt a lot better than I did on Thursday. felt faster. didn't feel like I cleared him too high today or anything. I just felt good and smooth. Jay got us in good placing. And what went through my mind was just get up, catch those kids, pass them, get us in first. Did you feel like you, you got off right when he yelled go? I mean, was the start great? I feel like I was a little off, but... Other than that, I, I just felt amazing. <laughs> you didn't have anybody pushing you by about the third hurdle. Did that, did that catch your attention at all or no? No, I just, my mind was blank. You know? Running over the hurdles, I mind just cleared over the first two. I'm just like, I was just, I was just thinking, catch them and don't let them get close to you. How tough is it having the fastest time in that first heat and then having to sit through the second heat to see, did we get a state title or not? Uh, it was pretty hard. We no, not to down us or anything. We, I think we all kind of figured we weren't going to win the title. They, we, there's great groups yeah. here. So we just wanted to know if we were in the top four or not. And sadly enough, not not quite. I think about a second off, we, we were off. So, Can you think of a better way to end your state career uh, than, than do this this event right now? No. Uh, it would have been nice coming down with or coming or leaving here with four medals, but two is, two is great. I love these guys. I haven't had a better team than them yet. So. Well, I tell you what, Colby, I appreciate you joining us. Congratulations. Great job. Thank you very much. You bet. Let's move over now to Dylan Jensen who ran that third leg today. Dylan, uh, Colby had you guys in the lead. Did you feel any pressure on that when you started off? There's always pressure following Colby. <laughs> he always gets us off to a nice lead, and what's always going through my head is don't blow it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you didn't blow it today. How'd you feel like you're in? Oh, it, it felt great, you know. There were a few that I felt like I kind of came over a little too high, but overall, just great. What was it like, you know, seeing him come down, getting ready? What was going through your mind before you started? I don't even know. <laughs> Do you have any expectations coming into this? What were you guys hoping to finish? We were hoping we were hoping we could step up into fourth or third, maybe if something, you know, maybe something would happen. But you know what? We're happy where we are. We're we're happy. Well, I tell you what, great job uh, this weekend. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you. Let's move on now to Mitchell Nelson, who had to run that anchor leg. And Mitchell, there's all the pressure in the world on that last guy. Uh, how did you handle that pressure today? I felt like I ran one of my best splits so far this year. I was just thinking, don't let him catch me the whole time, I guess. And I was mostly trying to think, catch Madrid, catch Underwood. Trying to picture them in front of me, trying to catch them the whole time. How do you do that? That's got that's kind of an interesting thought process. Is that something you do a lot of times? Yeah, I just, I just try to run my hardest, I guess, and then just sometimes feel like I'm get pretend like I'm getting close to them or whatever. I just I don't know something I do. What, what's this personal record, team record, and and, and fifth place finish at state mean for you? It's it's a great feeling. Colby and Dylan and great teammates all year. I'm gonna miss them a lot. Coming into next year, we gotta get some new freshmen going. See if we can get back to this again. Well, Mitch, I appreciate you joining us. Congratulations. Thanks.